What a beautiful day in Miami. Oh my gosh. Close this door. Summer. That's right. Summer is here. I'm Amos Larkins. I'm Annette Sun, Annette Larkins Sun. That's Annette Larkins. And we are here to, uh, I'm not sure what we're here for, to be honest with you. Hold on, guys. Let me plug this thing in. There we go. And um, we're here. I'm not sure. Mother likes to bring you new stuff, maybe things that most people don't know about, interesting things, important things, of course, about health. And, Mom, what are you bringing us today? Well, before I tell you what we have here today, before I tell you that, I want to thank everybody for their support. We've been getting good results from what we've been putting out, and that's all great. We love the feedback. Mm -hmm. We love the support. We love your comments and your suggestions and whatever, whatever. And the thing is, is that some people have even referred to us as the awesome twosome. How do you like that? Hmm. How do you like that sound? Has a nice ring to it. <laughs> I think so. I the think awesome twosome, huh? I think it's cute. I can dig that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing of it is, is that people, you know, they remark on some things that you say, I have a word for you today, or a couple of words, uh -oh. but that refers to this particular plant that we're going to show okay. today, and I'll tell you, of course, in layman's terms, we'll tell you what it is, but first, I want a to new word. <laughs> I want to give you the botanical name, it's a name, the botanical name, yeah, oh my god, word, it's a name. oh snap, so it's a... Uh, <laughs> And you make me laugh because I'm trying to figure out what's he going to say about this one, okay? Sensepalum dulcificum. Sensepalum who? Sensepalum dulcificum. Well, you eat it? Is it something for your rectum? Is it something like a colonic? <laughs> something, something you stick up your butt? Does it clean you out? All right, son. What? Enough. enough, okay. enough. We'll, we'll, we'll okay, no problem. Go ahead. But at any rate, the uh, that's the botanical name. Many mm -hmm. names have been given this particular fruit this particular plant and it usually has berries on it right beautiful red berries yes okay. Let me beautiful see this. red berries i'm gonna fly i'm gonna find something but right now we'll see them here's the berries right here the birds took the last couple of them yeah we had we had two on there that the birds took but uh at any rate uh we want to talk about this because it has certain values now a lot is not known about as far as the nutritional value but you know it's a berry and berries offer uh, antioxidant properties. They have antioxidant properties, so you can't go wrong with that. Okay, it's a red fleshy berry, and uh, it's about the size of a grape, uh, as you can see from the pictures that we have here. It's about the size of a grape, and you bite into the fleshy part of it, and you spit out the seed. Now what happens is that we have a protein that turns it into an active uh, well, it's an active protein, and that's called, uh, what's that one called? It's called Miraculum. And you can hear, this is why, the Miracle, Miracle Plant, okay? Okay, so the, the common name is Miracle. Yeah, that, that's what we mostly know it by. Can I ask a question, please? Sure. Um, in most cases, our medicines, you know, traditional Western medicines, derived from plants and stuff like that, do they use this for anything, uh, or do they have anything like that this, this derives from, or either... Is it known? Is this known any kind of way in the medical field, or is it up and coming? Some kind well, of way? for lack of better terms. What's happening in the medical field? They find that patients mm -hmm. who are in chemotherapy, patients mm -hmm. that cancer patients in mm -hmm. chemotherapy, you know, they develop uh, this metallic taste, a bitter metallic taste in their mouths, mm -hmm. so that food doesn't taste good to them. Well, when your tongue is coated with this berry. It really changes anything that you have that's bitter. It changes the taste of it. So wow. it makes it, a, it gives it a sweetish taste. Mm -hmm. And so hmm. it's better handled. Patients who have these problems, they're giving this to them now. So they found wow. that out. So there are other things to be, to be learned. You know, people will learn other things about it. But we know that for now. And it's and a natural sweetener, right? It's a natural sweetener. And so you don't have to worry about those. I won't name any of those names that they have out there. But those things have really bad side effects. Right. This one does not. Now, I understand that they do have these uh, now in powder and in, in pills. Of course, I wouldn't be oh, taking them. Oh, so they have them in supplement form. Yeah, I wouldn't be taking them like that. I know that. you wouldn't, but, but uh, that's good to know. And I don't know if they would call it supplement or just whatever it is. <laughs> But the thing about it is... Can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, are, you, are you totally against supplements? We know you don't take them because you, you started when you were like six years old becoming a vegetarian. Uh, not really. But more like 20. But I'm just saying, 
So you know, you you know, your body had a chance to like you know, but people like me who are trying to catch up, and I, I just want to get your opinion on it. I mean, do you are you are you one hundred percent against it as far as anybody else maybe taking them, or you think that if they're na- if they're if they're like one hundred percent naturally processed and they're in their natural state, maybe hydrated, and it's still in its food food form, how do you feel about that? Well, uh, there that's uh, I guess you know there's pro and con, right. but uh, I just don't do it. I mean, and I'm not telling other people not to do it. Right. It's just that it's something that I don't do. I'd rather get mine rather than take a, a pill or a powder. Mm-hmm. I'd rather come out here and fight the birds for <laughs> for the fruit of the... the Let me ask you though, if, if let's just be, let's say that it's all natural and it's been hydrated and they crush it up and they put it in a... a, a you mean dehydrated? It, I mean dehydrated. Yes. And it's, and they crush them up like a combination of whatever, peppers or whatever, and they put them in a pill for example but the pill is natural it's, a, it's not animal the capsule the, the uh, gelatin capsule yeah, the gelatin capsule so that of non animal yeah, and it's hydrated no no chemicals no processing is there do you have anything I wouldn't go against that because we know you the, don't do it the whole point is, is I wouldn't not go against that yeah, because right. people have to start somewhere right I mm-hmm. would hope that people will work up to the point where it doesn't not necessitate mm-hmm. uh, any of that kind of stuff but I would not would not go against that we have another uh, thing that we get into about the mm-hmm. the wheatgrass uh, mm-hmm. capsules that I used to deal with right. you know mm-hmm. but um, we won't talk and about they were that. very effective yeah, we won't talk capsules, about capsules. them now. We'll okay. just go into what we're going into here. Now, in addition to having the, um, uh, you know, we talked about the uh, medical, right. from the medical side. Mm-hmm. Obesity is something that could be controlled by this. Oh, really? Because if you really... Wait, wait. Control obesity, weight. You obesity. Can con- well, one of the reasons is because a lot of people have sweet, you know, t- they have a sweet tooth. Mm-hmm. And instead of doing all of that sweet, gooey stuff, if you do this, which is natural and non-harmful, I mean, it's it's just, you know, you just take and bite into it, spit the, the uh, seed out, and eat it. And then it'll last for about 15, well, last about an hour, really. Wow. So what you could do is you take, you want lemonade, instead mm-hmm. of putting sweet stuff in there, like sh- regular sugar, of course, I would never do. But instead of that, people can instead bite into this and put lemon or lime into water mm-hmm. and drink it. Oh. So you that's lemonade. Okay. And cool. people have parties sometimes with these things. We got to come back to this with some with some things going on. With berries on there sure. And we can do it. And that's the whole thing. Yeah. We'll we'll, we'll show you when it's right. and we have another one back there too, but it's in the state of this one. Yeah. So but at any rate, we want to just show you this and have you look into it. Just give you some food for thought, you know, give you something to look into and uh, it's just another way of avoiding that's the, some good stuff. Yeah, it's another way of avoiding the, the 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 norm, the things that they do in order to really make you sick. Mm-hmm. You know, so we're trying to get people well, and so that's one way that you can get into that. So just a short little presentation of uh, on that, and that's it. Well, that's cool, and um, we want to thank you so much for your support. Go to my mom's website. Google my mom if you don't know any more about her. If you don't know much about her, go to the um, <clears throat> go to. If, you, if you're on Facebook and you're and you're watching this on Facebook, please go to YouTube and, and like us and comment on YouTube. It's very important for our ratings and everything. It, it would help us out a lot for the support. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Okay. In the meantime, in between time, we love you guys. Peace. Peace. Mother walks away from me. <laughs> there she is. Back. She's back. <laughs> See you later, guys. Peace. Oh.